We always have a good time when we have on Christopher Mad Dog Russo, and uh, he is nice enough to join us now. Chris, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How are you doing today? How are my three favorites? Things good? We're doing great. We're doing great. Now, your name, Chris, has been out there a lot. There, there's rumors that there might be a spot open working with your old partner. Would you ever be interested in reuniting and going back on terrestrial radio? Uh, I would probably say not. Uh, so from that standpoint, I wouldn't think, uh, I think Mike could get a partner. I, I wouldn't rule that out based on what I've read. But I do not think uh, you will see me in that direction. I thought there was a chance maybe a couple years ago when that 30 for 30 came out, which you, by the way, Mr. K, did a great job with. Thank you. Uh, which I thought, I did, not, I did not hear from you on that, nor did I hear from Peter, but I did hear from Mike. <laughs> we were not um, asked. We were not <laughs> important enough. So I, I, right. I didn't watch it. Uh, but <laughs> well, you know, I, well, I was, I'll be honest with you, I was disgusted that we aired it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think there was a chance there a couple of years ago that that could occur. That did not, so I would say probably safely, Mike, no. that that ship has sailed. But, uh, but if asked, would you do it? Uh, pro they won't ask, uh, number one, so it's a hypothetical. Exactly. I'd probably at this point in my life, I would not. It, all right, if Entercom comes and drops, you know, $5 million in your lap a year, would you reconsider? They won't. <laughs> if they did, I would probably say no. Wow. It's a five mil. It's a five mil. Because Why? he's made a probably lot of not. money. Right, he's got a well, channel name off, after. First off, Sirius has been great to me. That's number one. And I know that, you know, it's uh, kind of weird to say it because, you know, I'm not trying to sit there and I don't want to be lovey-dovey with Sirius, but they've been very good to me for 11 <laughs> years now. And for me to leave them to run back to terrestrial, I never hear the end of it. Plus, I love the content that you can do with Sirius. Plus, it would affect the MLB network. Show, so I it's just timing would mm. not be right. I think there may have been a time that there would have been a consideration, but I, at my age right now, guys, that would not occur. I'd be shy. First off, let's be fair. I mean, I'm not that important. The intercom or, or Mark Chernoff or anybody else or Mikey, they're not going to come back and say, Chris, by the way, we love you so much. Here's five million. <laughs> let's uh, let, let's topple ESPN Radio with the ratings. They are not going to tell me that. So that so uh, it's a nice hypothetical, Mike. I know you're trying to get me in a little trouble with no, the fan. That's no. you're good. <laughs> I'm but, just having uh, some fun. I, I would say I would say no to I would say they wouldn't want me and I wouldn't go. Now, uh, perfect. Now I, I just want to ask you this. When we promoted that you were going to be on on Twitter yesterday, I mean people go nuts for you. You realize that on terrestrial radio, a lot of people don't have serious Oh, I know that. Oh, people I know they, love I, you. I know they go nuts. Uh, hard for me to gauge it. I did see the New York Post and believe it or not, I didn't even realize that this was sort of the end of the rating period this day. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't so, know it I mean, either. I, I, yeah. I can see, you know, I'm a pawn sacrifice. <laughs> no, so. no, no. We've had we you on when it wasn't either. that. Come on. Because uh, you're my pal, Mike. You've been good to me, and I've known you for a long time. I love Don's brother, Peter. I don't know that well, but well, uh, take it. You uh, wouldn't that like was Peter. Not my, that would not have been my intention, because obviously, I know FAN was my home for 20 Ooh. years with Mike. But um, uh, I, so I did not think that. But I, hey, listen, the fact that there's so people who care in New York is a good sign. Well, I, like I, to hear that. I don't get it. I've known you for 23 years, and you throw it out while well, I know Don's <laughs> brother. That wow, that was that's great. Rough. That, that's a little rough. That, that, was that, wasn't, that wasn't very. That, that wasn't very buddy buddy. I mean, no, not at all. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I lent you the that, Sopranos first season on DVD. I don't think I got it back. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear that pre and post game on the uh, on radio with the Rangers every day that you're doing. So I enjoy that as well. Weren't you a double fan forever from Yeah, Canada? well, this is life. I was, I'm a Giant fan. Did Jets for 16 years. I'm a Met fan. Stuck on yes. This is my life. This is my uh, purgatory. You're, 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 good point. This is why I'm going to heaven. Opposite, exact opposite of all the teams that you like. How about that? You're, but you were a huge Devils fan. You, yes. You love the Devils. Some, right. some say he has a devil's tattoo. Oh, really? That's been yeah. said. Some, some where, may say where, that. Where, where, where shall that tattoo be, man? That, that would be on my calf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm showing you some humor today, which I like to see. <laughs> but, but you, oh, so I just had to get that out of the way. Oh, I know Don's brother. All right. Only known you for 23 years. Yeah, That's okay. A long time, indeed. I have my apologies. And Dave is here, does a great job. He does. Know. Now, you know, Don and I were talking about this before the show. You have such, uh, every time you come on the show, you, you, you're so alive about sports, and you've been in it for so long. How do you still keep up that that A, energy, and B, enthusiasm about, you know, you've seen the sausage being made. 
Well, remember, Mike, this is a good time for us. You know, you got your opening day tomorrow. You got baseball. We all love the baseball. You got games all over the place. You got final uh, Sweet 16 stuff. The college games should be very good this weekend. The weather will get a little better. Uh, you know, you're not catching me on a February 15th day. Um, and if you did, I would have been talking New Canaan Rams basketball, who, by the way, won their first state championship in 57 years 10 days ago. Is your wow. son playing for them? Uh, he's on a team. Uh, playing is a little strong, but, 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 he's, but, but, he's, but he's on a team. Oh, sounds and like they, a boy after my own heart. Yeah, and they had a hell of a, we've got a great coach, uh, and they, they had a hell of a year, and they were 20-5 and five in the last two years. They were 9-31 and 31 combined. So you would have heard me scream about that in February, but it's a good time of the year, Michael. I mean, I, you got a lot of games against the Orioles, but, I mean, you got the baseball, you got the NCAA, a little warmer weather, so a little perky today compared to, say, most days. But, you know, you still like doing it. You do it all these years. You've been doing Yankee games forever. Yeah, you're telling me in the middle of January, when the uh, uh, middle of June, when the Rays come in for a three-game series on a dreary night at the stadium on a Wednesday, you got to find some uh, a three-hour and 55-minute game. Uh, the unmanageable three hours and 55 minutes, you got to <laughs> find some now, life doing the games now, too, right? And you've always been so passionate about baseball especially. And listening to you and working with you, you were someone that really trusted your eyeballs when watching a player. Uh, how do you feel now that, like, the analytics are telling you how good a player is? Does it, does it bother you oh, that absolutely. sometimes the analytics yes. are, are denying what your eyes tell you? I never, I never, uh, Mike, Mike, I don't talk about war, um, wins above replacement. I don't get that wrapped up in that. Uh, I try to look at it, you know, analytics can be a useful tool, but I look at it like I've always looked at it as far as just uh, who I think is a great player and who I don't think is a great player, who's overrated, who isn't. I'm more team-oriented anyway, and I think this year, you know, the American League, we all know it's a have-have-not league. I think the NL will be a little more interesting. It's probably about seven seven or eight teams who were kind of bunched up in the 80s, while the American League, it's, you know, it's basically going to come down to Houston, the Yankees, and the Red Sox. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Indians, I think, will come down a little bit. So I'm more wrapped up in the teams than they are in the players. But, you know, uh, listen, you had to talk about the players recently. Arenado, Trout, Machado, Harper, DeGrom, Snell, I mean, my goodness, Verlander, they have spent so much money. That's why the Players Association screaming about that middle class is absurd. They have spent billions of dollars here in the last month or so with these contracts. So uh, you have to pay attention to the players. But me, as Mike would know, I'm still more wrapped up on team. Now, you had some strong feelings about Harold Baines and uh, right. some of the Hall of Fame inductions, some minor disagreements about that. Yeah. Why did you feel so strongly, and do you still feel the same way you did now at the start of the season that you did a couple months ago? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, I don't know how Mike feels about it. He, my age, he, you know, uh, Baines is a nice player. Baines is not a Hall of Fame baseball. Geez, put Al Oliver in the Hall of Fame. Put, it, put Don that. Mattingly and Keith Hernandez in then, too. Uh, did good job, Mike. Uh, they didn't play. Hernandez is a better player than Baines. He wasn't a long uh, compiler like Baines is. And I'll tell you what else bothered me. Why have the writers vote? I mean, the most, the highest percentage he got was 6% for crying out loud. Yep. So he goes from 6% into the Hall of Fame. Now, LaRusse is mad at me when I say I this. But I do think that, you know, having so many ex-White Sox people on the board, including Reinsdorf, I, and don't forget, you know, Gillick was on that, and uh, Tony was, and so was Alomar, who played with him. I think that had a lot to do with this, but you guys know how huh. Baines... I actually think it's embarrassing that well, day for Baines. Uh, listen, I, I, we had Tory on, and Tory was part of that. And, and and I don't want to get on Joe Torre, but I, when he's describing Baines, he's like, he's a heck of a player. I'm sorry, that doesn't describe a, a heck of a player does not describe a Hall of Famer. Lee Smith, he took the ball every day. That doesn't describe a Hall of Famer. At least Lee Smith is, I wouldn't have put him in either, but at least he's debatable. I mean, I, you can make a case. How the heck do you make a case about Harold Baines? Because he had more game-winning RBIs, you know, the fifth inning on that nonsense. And I had a big fight with LaRusso about that. Oh, we, I, I played the audio. <laughs> oh, you did play? I sure did. Okay. I was going to say, I was going to give you credit. Credit for holding your own because there's a there's a tendency for athletes and coaches and people in the sport to shout down experts who haven't played the game and I thought you were great for uh, for holding your ground. And I, you know, I give Tony credit for coming on, but you know I mean uh, you're right. You always get that, Mike. You get it too. Well, you never played. What do you know? I mean uh, I managed him. How do you know? 
how good the player is. I know because we saw Baines for, Mike, what, 23 years we saw Baines? Yeah. We put, Baines a Hall of Famer in your eyes? No, and, and if you're going to put Baines in, I, I mentioned Madeline Hernandez. Look this up when you get a chance, uh, Chris. Uh, a guy, I, per I mean, I'm, I'm not objective because I love him. Kenny Singleton's a Hall of Famer then. Good point. Yeah, I mean, excellent. look at his numbers. He's a Switch much better hitter. player. Yeah. Absolutely. I think Al Oliver, that's the guy that I brought up to um, to La Russa. I mean, Al Oliver's a lifetime 300 hitter. He's got 2,800 career hits. I mean, the, the argument that I heard with Baines, well, if he didn't have three strikes, you know, he was involved in the three walkouts, he would have had, he missed a lot of games, he would have had the extra 100 and 200 hits that he had. Well, how about Al Oliver, for crying out loud? He's close, too. So right. It really bothered me about Baines, and, you know, they have cheapened the Hall of Fame. And the bottom line is, they have che the Hall of Fame used to be the best one, but to me, they cheapened it with some of the folks who have gotten in, and to me, it's more about that executive committee than it is about the writers. I still think the writers do a good job. I, I know. Really do. Give me, we're talking with Chris Russo here on the Michael K Show. Give me your take on the Giants, because we haven't heard your take on the Giants. So you think not your not your Giants, the New York Giants? Do you believe they know what they're doing? Uh, I think the Manning thing's a big mistake. Uh, I can't get on him for Beckham. I think he was tough to handle off the field. Um, I know they gave him all the money there in August, what's happened in seven months. Uh, but I think the issue that I have with the Giants is it's very difficult to try to win with a 38-year-old quarterback. And one thing about Manning, to be fair, he's lost 24 of his last 32 games. He's 116 and 114 is in his career. And he's played one playoff game in the last nine years. He's a, and I hear everybody tell me, well, how about the last five or six games? Look how great he was. Hey, guy, Dave Gutterman, did you see the Tennessee game when he was atrocious? The Eagles in the second half, when they couldn't move the ball an inch, did they, and the interception they threw before the half. Anybody see that game? Dallas wasn't playing, but he on defense, and Redskins have no defense. I mean, he's 38 years of age. Do the Giants owe Eli another send-off? I don't know. I'm a no, little, no, listen. Uh, I'm I, a I little worried about the Eli thing is a little. And remember, I don't kill him for Barkley. Because because he's going to be great. But they had Donald. They had Josh Allen, uh, who's going to be good. They got Haskins sitting there. They have another chance at Rosen. They've had about five or six chances to get a quarterback in the last two drafts. Right. And if they let another opportunity, sometimes you got to take a chance and just draft one and keep your fingers crossed. Well, that's the Because thing. you can't play Eli forever for crying out loud. But I do think this was a favor after the embarrassment in 2017. When they they cut his streak and started Geno Smith, and I think John Mara told Gettleman and Shermer, I want to try to win with Eli before his contract is up. It made no sense to take a running back too. It just it doesn't. I'm sorry, great running backs don't lead to championships. Great quarterbacks do, well, and they here, passed here on a quarterback. Question. That's a good point, Don. Don's on top of it. Mike. He's not bad. He's doing it's a good job. Carries the show. The show. No, yeah, but listen, I consider my you know career. The I, I consider my career a completed hail mary. They do happen. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Well, well, here's the here's the here's the question you ask about Barkley and Donald. Would you rather have the very good? Let's assume Donald's going to be very good and uh, not a Hall of Famer. Okay. Would you rather have the very good quarterback? to lead your franchise for 15 years, or would you rather have, you know, a Hall of Fame, and he is Hall of Fame if he stays healthy, right. or would you rather have a Hall of Fame running back for seven? Well, I would rather have the, the very good quarterback. I think so, too. Mike, what do you think? I think I'd rather have the quarterback. Peter? Yeah, it's 15. The, the bottom line is it, it gives stability to a franchise for 15 years if you if you luck out. And, and Chris, you just said it, and we've been talking about it. If they pass, if Haskins is sitting there at 6 and they pass, I don't see how the fan base doesn't lose their mind. I, 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 what, what, they cancel a third-round pick at Arizona to get uh, to get Rosen? They can't try that? Well, if you could get, well, get him for third, I'd be fine I, with I mean, that. You, yeah. you don't have to give up a first-round pick. You can't throw a second-round pick? I mean, you can't take I, a run. At, the problem no with problem. Rosen is you got to play him. You can't have him sit there because, you know, who wants I – mean, Eli at five and six the last five games, it's time to make a move. Well, he, right. I think he could be Kurt Warner. He could be a guy that starts yeah, the have, season and, like that. and then Here's the problem. Over. Here's the people who support Eli, and I know he's won two Super Bowls, and I know He's probably going to the Hall of Fame, and I know I've been a little anti-Eli since he kind of strong-armed San Diego. I'll be the first to admit that when he came out in the draft. Be fair. He's lost 24 of his last 32 games as a starting quarterback, and he's played in one playoff game in which he lost since since they won their last championship in 2011. Right, but it's not all his fault. The, no, you know, the, reason, the, the, the line's been bad. 
I agree. Uh, we understand that, but he's, he's a statue. Hey, well, well, he can't move, and he's very erratic in these games. Well, I've got no problem with the keeping him now. His, his money's going to come off the books at the end of the season. So, you know, why, why, why get rid of him and eat any money to go bring in another quarterback? Might as well just keep him this year, but I'm but with you. you. But, but here's the thing. You've got a couple quarterbacks out there that you can get right now. And you had a couple quarterbacks last year. They could have drafted Donald. They could have drafted. Although that Allen. I agree with. That I agree with. Once they passed on the quarterback at this particular point, none of those quarterbacks are getting in the playoffs anyway. So may as well just keep Eli. Uh, I understand. Well, well, again, you can't throw a second round pick to get Josh Allen here. See what you got? Oh, uh, you know uh, that I agree with. But you can still keep Eli on the roster and do that. Uh, I understand, but Josh Allen's got to play. I don't Josh, want to no, see Josh, a, Allen Josh Rose, No, I agree. I, I completely agree. And I, and, I, and I hate these people saying, "Well, he was awful last year. Aikman was awful oh, his first year. On, Eli stop. was awful his first year." I'm with that, you. that that coach was awful. They got rid of him. That's the worst offensive line in football. How in the world can anybody evaluate Josh Allen's Can't performance last year in Arizona? Uh, That's not fair. All right, now I need you. What else you got, Mike? Yeah, I okay. need you to gauge this for me. Peter Rosenberg, right? Right. I don't know yeah, where we're going. Has to. kind of made. Oh, yeah. he, he made his, his his name in the sports side by just killing Duke. He did a Duke video, a Duke rap. He hates Duke. He went to Maryland. He's rooting for them because he likes Zion Williamson. Don and I think he's fraudulent. Oh, I, I, it's a joke, Pete. What do you think? I'm rooting for him now because you like a player. He's, he's going to be gone in a, in a week anyway. And, and I won't root for him. And then I will no longer. I, it's not that I'm rooting for the team, Chris. Yeah, I, you can't separate it, Pete. But the I, guy's the best player. Let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Uh, the, the last possession on Sunday afternoon, yep. when they're down by two, did you root for him then when he had the ball on the left side? Line? Yep, I wanted to. Oh, well, then, want then, then you can't do that. <laughs> Jeez. He's a fraud. I, I, I sports fraud. No, there's no right. question. Well, if you got to know him, you'd have. I mean, overall. Now, by the way, Zion Williamson should have been committed. Should have uh, been called for two offensive, or at least one offensive foul. Were you for the last play of the game? We, oh my God, he ran right into that little guard, and then of course they had a hook on the rebound, and Barrett pushed off. I mean, gee whiz! I mean, how many calls are they going to get now, in the last second of that game? Now, but do you? How special do you think Zion is as a player? Oh, I think he's going to be. Uh, you know, I had my doubts a little bit as I wondered about his outside game, but I tell you. You watch him in the last whatever it might be, you know, the Carolina game in the ACC tournament when he had 31 points. He can make a three. He's a freak athlete. He's competitive. He's a tremendous offensive rebounder. And I'll tell you something else. He's a much better passer than you think oh, he is. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, he is, you know, watch the Knicks end up with pick number three. And they end up with Barrett, who stinks. I mean, typical Knicks. <laughs> what did you think of uh, when Jim Dolan was on with us? Did you hear any of that? I heard all about that. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> and I loved your, I didn't hear it, but I heard, I read all the excerpts. And I heard your questions about the Daily News, my press conference. I can invite who I want. Spoken like an old New York Daily News writer in Michael K. Back That's in right. the late 80s. Uh, I heard about the issue with the fan at TMZ. It was a setup, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I I heard it at all. Did I mean, you have also, a good relationship with Dolan? When yeah, you, I did. You did. I did. I also heard the idea. A lot of my buddies said, you know, Dolan does not come across great on these radio interviews. He, well, he does also, also, I don't know if he, it would be that bad on radio, but the fact that we're simulcast, you know, he's got, he's got these sloppy notes in front of him. Sometimes it doesn't make him look good. Yeah, he's fumbling with his words. He's got the notes. He's wrinkling them up. He can hear the notes in the background. Uh, I don't know. I but mean, you like him personally? Because like, he, he does come off a little odd on the radio. Good, always been good to me. Yeah, that's the way I feel, too, but I know that people that have worked there, he's a tough guy to work for. Ah, uh, you listen, you know, I, 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 you would know that better than me. Uh, I had never worked for the Garden. Um, you know, I know he loves that band. I mean, I, I guess he makes you go to the, uh, Seth Abraham used to say that. I guess he makes you go to the shows <laughs> yeah, yeah. when he's, got, he's playing Eagles do, songs. Um, do you, you, you think Durant I, comes well, here? I do not. I think Durant's going to the Clippers. We, oh, then they, they, you know what, then trading for Zingas was the mistake. Uh, I agree. Unless they Good get point. two max people, that that was a mistake. I don't they know. had to do it. They had to do it, but if you don't get if you don't cash in on it, it's bad. I think I don't know what would I know, but I just I think Jerry West with the Clippers, I think Doc Rivers with the Clippers, I think the warm weather, I think the fact that LeBron's vulnerable with the Lakers, and the fact they have two max contracts and he's going on a ready-made team, I think he might go there. And I tell you right now, that if, I, if it was my team, I'm not bringing Kyrie Irving in. Why? There's something, Too about, there's, something, there's something about him I do not like. There's a lot of drama with him. So you'd rather yeah. have Kemba Walker? Uh, I don't know about that either. But <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I know the Knicks will probably do it because they'd be desperate. Right. So there, but which uh, is what they know, did with Stoudemire. 
Yeah, exactly. And Stoudemire gave him a good half a season. Right. But, and then, but I think that would be now they'll probably do it. But I think that would be a mistake. I'll I tell really you. What, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm, as you know, I'm a fraud, but I'm also a Celtics fan, <laughs> and it's, I love Kyrie personally. Great kid. But as a leader, he just He's seems to, guy. he keeps wavering. And this is a team that is desperate for real leadership. And I just don't think he's the guy. Well, think about it. Last year, he didn't play in the playoffs. They played pretty well. Uh, this, uh, the, you know, when he was with Cleveland before LeBron, the team stunk. I mean, this year he's had a, they've had, he's got a lot to say. They've had a terrible year for them. He's always he's now he's questioning Stevens, who's a hell of a coach. I, I'm not involved. I don't love him. I don't think he's a blend. He's a great scorer in in, in crunch time, but I don't think he's a blend in point guard. This is me. Now I'm not an expert. From what I see, and the Knicks would do it because they're desperate. I would not go near them. All right, before we let you go, your Giants, your Giants don't look Terrible. like they're going to be good. Terrible. They have bad team. Uh, I think the question that you're going to have with the Giants, they have, no out, they have no outfield, number one. Right. You hit it right in the head. You, uh, you hit it right in the head. And, you know, Bochy's leaving, as you guys know. The question, and they got Zay, Farhan Zaidi in there from the Dodgers, who's, you know, is a Oakland A disciple, Billy Bean, all that. The question you're going to have with the Giants is in July, when they're 30 behind the Dodgers, which they will be, Will they trade Bumgarner, who's a free agent, who will give the Giants the benefit of the doubt with the contract right. because he loves the Giants and he's a he's a good kid who doesn't play just for making every nickel. But will they trade him to get a lot back and refurnish that farm system? That is the question. I think the fan base, which is you know sells 41,000 tickets a game, they love the guy out there. He's helped them win three championships. They did not trade him in the offseason when a lot of people thought they would. That will be the question with San Francisco. And you'll find that out when you go out there to do these games. Yep. If they get off to a bad start and the Dodgers play well early and they're 20 out on May, because they're not making a playoffs as a wild card team in the National League. There's too many teams. So they got to win the division. They're not going to. What are they going to do on Memorial Day when they're 20 out and, you know, they got him sitting there? It's a tricky spot for him. It really is. Chris, we can't thank you enough. Yeah. Uh, my, my boss, Tim McCarthy, just sent word $5 million just to join the three of us. Would you do it? Six. He's got me. All right. All right. <laughs> Thanks, man. We'll talk no, no, five. Hold on now. Hold on now. Let's let's level. Let, can I negotiate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, sure, go ahead, go ahead. sure. In hypothetical world. All right. <laughs> How about fifteen for three? No bonuses needed. Fifteen. Oh, no ratings bonuses. That's very big of you. Fifteen for three. Okay. <laughs> How's that? Because if I'm, if you're going to pay me all that money, I should get ratings, right? So from that standpoint, exactly. That's the way George used to think. Why should I give you MVP George, bonuses? Why should I give him bonuses for winning MVPs? I'm paying him a fortune for yep. crying out loud. Okay, no bonuses. Three for fifteen. All right. Tell Tim to call me. All, all right. Good. Wow. Good. Big story here. Can't have four you know, though. So which one of us goes? No, four. Four would be good. And also, we we still have that dinner. All right. Oh, oh he's gone. I think he hung up on that. That is the end. That was probably for the best. Yeah.